Welcome! In this video you're going to be drawing free body diagrams and in order to do so we're going to consider three clues. We're going to think of invisible forces, contact points, and the effects of acceleration for every situation. First let's take the case of somebody standing still on a chair. We're going to consider invisible forces such as gravity that'll be acting downwards. We're going to look for contact points. They're standing on the chair so the chair supports them upwards. We'll call that normal force. And we're going to consider if they're accelerating. In this case, no. So forces are balanced. Up and down are equal. Next case, we'll look at the free-falling person. Are there invisible forces such as gravity? Yep. Are there contact forces? No. So should there be acceleration? Should there be a net force? Absolutely. And there is already. So we're done with that diagram. Lastly, the land. Now, are there invisible forces? Yeah, we still have gravity. But normal force from the ground, sometimes people think that's the same as the first case. But we really got to consider that the acceleration is in the upwards direction. So this vector for normal force should be a tad larger. Let's consider a skier accelerating downhill. While accelerating downhill, let's consider invisible forces. Yeah, we're going to have gravity. And then contact forces, we should have normal force from the surface. And if we're accelerating, we should have unbalanced forces, and we do. So the diagram checks out. But what about the case of going downhill with a constant velocity? We'll still have the invisible force of gravity, and we'll still have the normal force, but the contact from the ground is going to also give us a frictional force uphill. So in this case, there's no acceleration, so the uphill and the downhill forces need to cancel out. Ooh, how about we're pulling a bag across the floor at a constant speed theta from a rope? Do we have invisible forces such as gravity? Of course. Do we have contact points? Yeah the supportive force from the ground up, but also frictional force backwards. And we got this rope here, so that's going to have a tension force. Is the bag accelerating? No. So that means all of the forces need to balance, like the horizontal forces, they cancel, and the vertical forces, they also have to cancel out. Here, try some additional practice examples. Thanks for watching. Good luck with those free body diagrams.